Hello guys and my valued viewers, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Hopefully you are all fine like before, big news for Denar just dropped. I always try my best to provide you the updated information. So this video is about the latest announcement of Iraqi Dinar news. Hit subscribe to stay informed and comment below. The current fluctuations in the exchange rate of the Iraqi dinar against the US dollar have become a subject of concern, with many people wondering what exactly is causing these shifts. According to the Parliamentary Finance Committee, the rise in the exchange rate can be attributed to several factors that are affecting the stability of the market. One major reason is the activities of smugglers and some dishonest business people, particularly in unlicensed exchange offices. These individuals are engaging in practices that are distorting the exchange rates, which leads to instability and fluctuations in the market. The Central Bank of Iraq, however, has stated that these issues are not due to its own policies. Iraq operates under a pegged exchange rate system, meaning that the value of the dinar is tied to the value of the dollar. Under normal circumstances, this helps to maintain a stable and predictable exchange rate. However, the involvement of these bad actors in the market is creating inconsistencies that are causing the value of the dinar to weaken. Despite these challenges, there is a belief that the problem is not just about these illegal activities, but about a larger issue concerning the actual value of the Iraqi dinar. Many observers, including some within the central bank, seem to recognize that the core issue lies in the disparity between the value of the dinar and the dollar. The value of the dinar is currently lower than the US dollar, and this creates an incentive for people to manipulate the market for personal gain. It has been suggested that once the value of the dinar is raised to be equal to, or even higher than the dollar, these problems would largely disappear. The reasoning behind this is simple if the dinar were stronger, there would be less room for people to take advantage of the exchange rate differences. As it stands, with the dinar being weaker, smugglers and unscrupulous traders can profit from the fluctuations, which is why the issue persists. The central bank, it seems, is fully aware of this situation and understands the role that a stronger dinar could play in stabilizing the market. There is talk of the real effective exchange rate rear a measure that considers not only the nominal exchange rate but also factors like inflation and the balance of trade. Some believe that the central bank is preparing for a rate change that would bring the value of the dinar closer to its true worth according to the rear. If the dinar were to reach this rate, many expect that the problems with exchange rate fluctuations would be resolved almost immediately. Essentially, the market manipulations and the smuggling issues would lose their profitability if the dinar's value were stronger and more in line with its real purchasing power. Thus, while the immediate issue may be caused by bad actors in the market, the long-term solution seems to lie in adjusting the value of the dinar itself. In summary, while the Central Bank of Iraq is not directly responsible for the current exchange rate fluctuations, it recognizes the underlying problems that are contributing to these issues. The activities of smugglers and dishonest traders in unlicensed exchange offices are certainly playing a role, but there is a broader acknowledgement that these problems are likely to persist until the value of the dinar is adjusted. Many believe that once the dinar's value is raised, possibly through a realignment with the rear, these fluctuations will cease and the exchange rate will stabilize. This is why some view the current situation as an indication that the central bank is working toward a rate change that could address the root of the problem and bring about long-term stability in the market. 